Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about Bob Suite sitemap that how we can create sitemap by using Bob Suite. So you can see over here that at the first tab the Bob Suite is target. So target is actually first tab in Bob Suite and target tab contains two sub tabs and they are sitemap and scope. So sitemap tab can be used in order to create a professional sitemap whereas in scope tab we can define that what are some URLs or what are some fields or entry points in web application which we want to include in our sitemap or which we want to include in our scope and which we don't want to include our scope. Now let's see how we can create sitemaps and how we can use the scope tab in our system in order to create a professional sitemap. Now let's see how we can create a sitemap using Burp Suite. So you can see over here that right now I am using Burp Suite Professional but you can also create a sitemap by using Burp Suite free edition and we also have to start our OS broken web application and you can see over here that it's up and running and its IP address is 192.168.0.157 now let me open this IP address in Firefox so before we open that IP address we have to configure proxy settings so now let's just go over here options and now let's just make Bob suite to intercept our request manual proxy configuration okay and now let's just open that IP address and that was 157. So you can see over here that Bob Suite start blinking which means now it's intercepting our request. So you can see over here this HTTP request that is get and you can see over here host user agent. So now let me forward this request and as soon as I forward this request you can see over here the target tab starts blinking. So now let's just go there and you can see over here that all the websites which we will open through Bob Suite will get recorded in target tab otherwise you can just go back to proxy and inside the proxy tab there is a sub tab called as HTTP history so now let me open that up so you can see over here that all the requests which are being intercepted by Bob Suite uh, either we are forwarding it either we are dropping it all of them are stored in this HTTP history so just for example you want to see this request so just double click on it and you can see the request you can see the headers so this is how we can do that but now just concentrate on target tab let's just go back now what we will do you can see over here that the Bob suite have already started making a sitemap of this particular host where our OS broken web application is up and running so you can see over here now let's just expand this up and you can see over here that it has started crawling all the URLs and links of this particular host but just for example uh, let's say we just want to make a sitemap of this application that's a vulnerable application OS Mutiny Day so let me just click over here and let's just go back here to proxy okay now let's just go back and now let's find Mutiny Day so you can see over here that here is the folder of Mutiny Day and if I expand this up you can see the index.php file even you can see some load more files. So actually what happening is whenever we open any URL or whenever we click on that particular URL Bob Suite will store that URL in that sitemap. So what if if the website contains more than 5000 links or 5000 URLs then we can't go at that much level. So in that way we have to automate that stuff right. So what else we can do we can actually use Bob Suite Spider which will actually crawl the entire website and will store all the URLs in a proper manner in that website sitemap. Now let's see how we can do that. So you can see over here at let's just concentrate on this request. So this request is actually of that our OS broken web application it's a get request and you can see here URL. So what else we can do just right click over here and there is an option called a spider this branch. Why branch because here is our host and inside this host we are here. Now let's say let me go back and let's say let's select this host and if I just click over here you can see now the option is spider this host whereas if we select a particular directory or a particular web application then it's saying this branch. Now let's say spider this branch. So now it's saying that this is actually out of scope you want to add it yes yes 
and you can see over here that the spider is being started crawling all the website and you can see over here eventually our sitemap goes on increasing you can see the number of requests which are being sent by our Bob suite and now Bob suite is actually crawling all the URLs and links and making a sitemap of it and on the right hand side you can see the advisory so these are the issues which Bob suite is actually finding out by scanning these URLs so if you are using Bob suite free edition you will not be able to see these kind of issues why because Bob suite free edition doesn't come with this scanner tab so I'm using professional one so I can see all the vulnerabilities which Bob suite is finding so you can see over here that our spider is still running and here is our sitemap you can see here the root and you can see the subdirectories like images includes JavaScript styles you can see the web services like rest API so you can see the test so this is how we can use Bob suite sitemap in order to make a well-defined structure of a particular website and we can also use Bob suite spider in order to crawl all that URLs in that particular website so in this video we saw that what is Bob suite target tab and how we can actually create a Bob suite sitemap in order to make a well-structured URLs of a particular website. So thanks for watching this video.